All right, so welcome to the video. My name is Amar Forbes and I'm a travel photographer. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about my travel camera bag in 2024. So let's get into it. So yeah, and of course the camera that I use is the Sony a7 IV. Had it for about a year and a half or somewhere, somewhere, somewhere in that range. But yeah, amazing camera, 53 megapixels, 10 FPS, you know, it's amazing. It's honestly an amazing camera. Picture quality is great. Doing that performance, great. Video quality, great. Only bad thing about it, 4K60, the crop. Why Sony, why, 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 why? Apart from that, the camera is perfect. Like, well, it does have problems with the shutter. I mean, it's not very, very, very common, but it does happen to, to a few bit of people. So yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen anytime soon. So the camera that I use, or the camera bag I use, is heavy. It's too heavy. The original Wondered Provoke 31 liter backpack in blue. Does Brexit make my passport expire? No, but it does mean that you are entitled to a beautiful new blue passport. But yeah. This bag is huge, so it's 31 liters, as I just said, and it has a water up here, which you can use to expand by another five liters, taking up to 36 liters. So yeah, this can fit a lot of things, like a lot of things. So yeah, this, this bag is amazing. One thing that I really like about it is that it has these hooks here, these little pieces here, which you can put like a tie, is that, sort of, is that how you call it? Like a tie? You put them here and here. And then you could put like a jacket here or anything just big. So yeah. One time when I went to Milan with Day Owen, you guys have seen him on this channel many, many times. But yeah, we went to Milan. It was cold in London, but in, in Italy, it was so hot. So yeah, I was wearing a jacket, like a full winter jacket. But as soon as I got to Italy, took it off, stuck it on the back of the bag. Bosh, beautiful. This bag is amazing, genuinely amazing. So yeah, you have this section with this zip where you can quickly access your camera. <clears throat> you have the back section. So here is like a passport. You can put passport, cash, spare debit cards, credit cards. I put passport and credit cards and debit cards. Spare credit cards and debit cards. And yeah, this is the front of the bag has a zip. Normally, I normally put uh, the rain cover for the camera here and yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah Oh, yeah, another great thing about this bag is that it opens on the back so you can put lay this down on the ground open it from the back put the camera bag back on your back and Your back won't get dirty. So yeah so now we have This zipper at the top this little very small compartment what I keep in there is very very small USB-C cable. It's not gonna focus. Oh, kind of did. Very small USB-C to USB-C cable, and that is for charging, which I use of this. This is a power bank, a ten thousand milliamp hour power bank from Samsung. So this supports um, Samsung super fast charging at twenty five watts, which is very useful as I main a Samsung Galaxy device so yeah got that for pretty cheap off Amazon because on Samsung's retail website it was quite dear so yeah now if you open up the main compartment you're greeted with two sections two main sections so the top section and then the bottom section which is where the main camera stuff is so yeah but if you go to the section that's connected to the back of the uh, bag which is here. So in this section you have like two compartments one smaller one one bigger one I store obviously my laptop uh, My 14 inch MacBook Pro. This is the 2021. So base M1 Pro uh, 16 gigabytes of unified memory. I upgraded it from half a terabyte to one terabyte of SSD very 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 good upgrade I would have struggled with half a terabyte, but yeah. Then also upgraded the 
the power adapter from 67 watts to 97 watts or 90, no, 96 watts for like an extra 10 quid. No brainer, might as well, might as well. So I'll chuck that over there. So that's laptop sleeve done. Oh yeah, also carry like documents, so like flight tickets, like I'm in Korea at the moment, I'm in Busan, and some of the airlines require you to print out the ticket. So yeah, documents in there. So yeah, if you go to the smaller top compartment here, open it up, we are greeted with my headphones of choice. These are the Sony WH-1000 XM4s. I got them in blue. These are, these are amazing. Generally, these are amazing. Right? So as well as cancelling, amazing. Sound quality, amazing. Like, it's just a great all-rounder. Like, I don't use these for short trips. Actually, no, I do. I use them on all trips, but yeah. I use this quite frequently. Battery life, amazing. Sound quality, amazing. As I said, noise cancellation, amazing. Um, has NFC. Has NFC here, so Android phone, if you unlock it, and the NFC is on, you can just literally go like this. And then it connects. Bosh. So pretty easy. You literally just put it on your head like this. And then you go like this. Bosh. Connect it. Don't need to faff around with the buttons or whatnot. But yeah. Amazing. One benefit to Android. So if you go further into the main compartment, we have this case from GoPro. So this is what, if you buy a GoPro, if you buy, yeah, if you buy a GoPro, then it normally comes in this black case, which is very hard. This is very nice. It's a very nice case. So I store some extra bits and bobs here. So it looks like this. It's organized mess. But yeah, so have one power adapter, which is the Samsung super fast charging 25 watt adapter. Also have the charger for the Sony A7 IV spare batteries. Good thing about this, it takes both USB-C and micro USB. If you want to focus, but I mean, I barely use micro USB anyway, but options are always good. So, and cables. So I think I'm carrying three USB-C cables uh, three USB C to C cables, one USB A to C cable, and then one MagSafe cable for the MacBook, and then also a USB C to C data transfer cable. And then, so in the top compartment, a spare SSD case, very useful. You can never, actually, no, you always need extra SSDs. Then we have one portable SSD here. This is a crucial X6 two terabyte portable SSD. Very, very, very nice. Bought this for like 120 quid off Amazon. So also have a second portable SSD. This is from Lacey. I bought this from Apple. So I also got this on quite a deal. So with Apple, well, at least two years ago when I bought the MacBook Pro, you got um, 120 pounds in the Apple gift card if you used the education store the education apple store so i used this i used that gift card to buy this and also an air tag as well so yeah i only paid about 25 quid out of pocket for this and this this is amazing so yeah that is that and then and then little portable bluetooth mouse this is amazing uh, battery life is good. Accuracy is amazing. Currently, actually, one fault I have with it, micro USB. Like, why? I mean, I can upgrade to USB C, but a uh, USB C mouse, but this does the job, so. And then, two travel adapters. This is a UK free prong to a European. Main, European mainland two prong. So Korea, I mean Korea at the moment, they use the same plugs as uh, mainland Europe does. So yeah, very, very handy. I can use the same plugs or same travel adapters in Korea as I do 
mainland Europe, so like Paris, Brussels, you know. Then also we have this U Green Kalium Nitride Charger. This is the 65 watt variant. This is very nice. So, of course it's a UK free pong. And yeah, it just closes up. Very nice design, very nice design. So it has two USB-C ports and one USB-A port. So yeah, this just helps to like limit the amount of plug, the amount of plugs that I use. So maximum two plugs that I'll use, maximum four charge, maximum four devices that I can charge at one time, which is more than enough. So yeah, this plus the Samsung 25 watt, perfect, perfect combo for me, honestly. And last but not least in the top section is this. This is a um, case for my watch straps. So yeah, I have some watch straps in here. Two rubber straps. This doesn't apply to camera gear, but yeah. Two rubber straps, one lever, one NATO. Ran another NATO here. And then have this other travel case for my Tissot PRX. Quickly show you. Almost dropped on the floor. Yeah. Tissot PRX. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Beautiful watch. Bought this in Heathrow. So I've got so I only paid about 260 for this. So I paid below retail on a already cheap-ish watch. So yeah, then we get to the main section. So this section down here, if I open it up, you are greeted with this beautiful mess. So 2470 Sigma, beautiful, beautiful everyday lens. Love this lens, honestly. No complaints. No complaints to it. Beautiful. And then my Sigma 85 millimeter. I don't really use. I don't really use this that much, but still an amazing portrait lens. So yeah, GoPro strap for, of course, my POVs. Very nice. The padded one. This is only a few extra quid more than the normal GoPro strap, and the quality is so much better. So. Definitely recommend, get, definitely recommend getting this. And then here, in this section, GoPro Hero 9. And underneath that, extra batteries for the GoPro. So yeah, beautiful stuff. And yeah, so normally I put my A7 IV. So yeah, normally I put my A7 IV here and attach the 24 to 70, 85, 80 millimeter chest mount for GoPro, GoPro and spare batteries. And yeah, oh yeah, also peak design clip. This is essential for any photographer. You literally attach this to your camera, your backpack, then you can attach your camera to it with the base plate. Very useful. It gives you more freedom. You're able to use both hands freely. And yeah, you don't have to lug around a camera with a huge lens all day, so yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah, other things I haven't mentioned. <laughs> Mobile phone. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Love this phone, the screen is beautiful. Ca good cameras, good video quality. Yeah. Like, it's just amazing. Like, Simple things about it, like the productivity on this is amazing. Multi-window, you can use multiple apps at one time, which I use quite frequently. Like even when you're traveling, it automatically tells you your local time and your home time, which is amazing. And iPhone 50 Pro Max. <laughs> nice phone, but still prefer, still prefer, still prefer Android. And yeah, also OnePlus, OnePlus Buds, OnePlus Buds Pro 2. These were actually gifted to me from OnePlus when I attended their launch event for their um, OnePlus 12, yeah. Yeah, I also used the Sony shotgun mic. I forgot what the product thing is. I'll put it up on screen, but yeah. Uh, no batteries, no wires. Very easy to set up and has a few dials and knobs on the back here. So yeah, very nice. The audio quality is probably bad right now, but 
I mean, I'll probably put back. I'll probably put it back on right now, actually. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the what's in my camera bag for 2024. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one.